So the graph traversal means visiting all the nodes or the vertices of a graph systematically. Now there are two ways we can traverse either we can use BFS or DFS. BFS means breadth first search. This is also known as level order traversal. Here we traverse level wise. Now in case of DFS or the depth first search, we perform the traversal depth wise. So in DFS we use the stack data structure. In BFS we use the queue data structure. So let's now traverse this tree using BFS. So we're gonna use the queue data structure which follows the first in first out approach. So we're gonna start the traversal from this node 0. So the node 0 will be inserted in the queue. We have visited the node 0. So we're gonna include that in our result. Now we have to visit the adjacent to this node 0. So that means we're gonna visit 1 and 3. So 1 and 3 will be inserted into the queue. Now we have to delete 1 from the queue. Include that in the result. So in case of 1 the adjacent unvisited is 2. It will be inserted in the queue. Next we have to delete 3. Include this in the result. So we are gonna take the adjacent unvisited to the node 3 which is 4. 4 will be inserted in the queue. Next we are gonna delete 2 from the queue. Include this in the result. And there is no unvisited adjacent to the node 2. So next we have 4. So we are gonna delete 4. Include this in our result. And also here we do not have any unvisited adjacent to the 4. Now because our queue is empty that means this will be our final output. Let's now traverse the same graph using DFS. In DFS we use the stack data structure which follows last in first out. So here we are gonna start from this node 0. So 0 will be pushed onto the top of the stack and also include this in our result. Now we are gonna visit adjacent node of 0 which can be 3 or 1. So we are gonna visit 3. So 3 will be pushed on top of the stack. Also include that in our result. Next adjacent node is 4. So we are gonna visit 4. Push it into the stack. Include this in our result. Now we have to backtrack from here. That means we are gonna pop from the top of the stack. Now we are gonna visit unvisited node which is 2. We are gonna push that in our stack. Include this in our result. Next unvisited is 1. So we are gonna push that in our stack. Include this in our result. Now there are no unvisited nodes. Now we have to backtrack from here. So we're gonna pop one from the stack. Again we have to backtrack. So we're gonna pop two from the stack. Now again we have to backtrack. So we're gonna pop three from the stack. There are no adjacent nodes. So we're gonna pop zero from the top of the stack. Now because the stack is empty, that means this will be our final output. Thank you.